In a cozy little town named Purrington, there lived a particularly mischievous feline named Whiskers. Whiskers was no ordinary cat. She had a knack for getting into comically absurd situations that left the townsfolk scratching their heads in amusement. One sunny morning, as the town's residents were going about their daily routines, a commotion erupted at the local bakery. Whiskers had somehow managed to sneak into the bakery's kitchen and was now frolicking in a mountain of freshly baked bread rolls. Flour covered her sleek fur, and she batted at the rolls like they were her personal toys. The baker, a plump and good-natured man named Mr. Muffin, burst into laughter at the sight of Whiskers wreaking havoc in his kitchen. He couldn't stay mad at the mischievous cat for long and decided to name a batch of bread rolls after her. Whiskers Wheezy Rolls. Word of Whiskers' antics spread throughout Purrington, and soon she became a local celebrity. The townsfolk eagerly awaited her next escapade, which was never too far away. One day, Whiskers set her sights on the town's annual Perfect Picnic, a cherished event where residents gathered to enjoy delicious food and delightful company. As the townsfolk spread their picnic blankets and unpacked their baskets, Whiskers spotted a tower of tuna sandwiches. Unable to resist the temptation, she pounced on the tower, sending sandwiches flying in all directions. The townsfolk couldn't help but chuckle at Whiskers' audacious antics. They affectionately dubbed her Purrington's Picnic Bandit and even awarded her a tiny trophy made of tuna cans. Whiskers' comedic adventures continued to amuse and perplex the townsfolk. She once got herself stuck in a tree while trying to chase a butterfly, and another time she donned a pair of oversized sunglasses and pretended to be a visiting celebrity, much to the amusement of the townsfolk. But perhaps Whiskers' most uproarious escapade occurred during the annual Purrington Talent Show. As the townsfolk gathered at the town square to showcase their talents, Whiskers decided to join in on the fun. With a twinkle in her eye, she took the stage and began a spirited interpretive dance, prancing and leaping to an imaginary tune. Her graceful yet comical moves had the audience in stitches. The mayor, a dignified tomcat named Mr. Whiskerpaws, couldn't help but join the laughter. He declared Whiskers the grand performer of Purrington and presented her with a golden fish trophy that sparkled in the sunlight. As the years went by, Whiskers' reputation as Purrington's resident comedian grew. She became a beloved fixture in the town, bringing laughter and joy to everyone she encountered. Her playful antics were a reminder that even in the simplest of moments, humor could be found and life should be enjoyed to the fullest. Whiskers lived a long and happy life in Purrington, and her memory lived on in the hearts of the townsfolk. They erected a statue in her honor, capturing her in the midst of one of her famous leaps. It became a gathering place for residents to share stories of Whiskers' hilarious adventures and celebrate the joy she had brought to their lives. And so, in the charming town of Purrington, Whiskers' legacy as the town's comedic cat lived on, a testament to the idea that sometimes the silliest and most unexpected moments could bring the most laughter and warmth to our hearts. As the years rolled on, Purrington continued to cherish the memory of Whiskers, their beloved comedic cat. The town remained a haven of laughter and whimsy, where even the most ordinary moments were infused with humor. One sunny afternoon, a mysterious new cat arrived in Purrington. This cat, named Jasper, had a sleek black coat and a twinkle in his eye that reminded the townsfolk of Whiskers in her mischievous prime. Jasper claimed to be a distant relative of Whiskers and had heard tales of her legendary adventures. The townsfolk welcomed Jasper with open paws, eager to share stories of Whiskers and her comedic escapades. They hoped that Jasper might carry on the tradition of bringing laughter to Purrington, just as his famous relative had. Jasper was an enthusiastic addition to the town, and he wasted no time in getting into his own hilarious situations. He once tried to catch a swarm of fireflies, believing they were tiny fairies, and ended up with a glowing coat that made him the star of the night. But what truly set Jasper apart was his penchant for storytelling. 
He regaled the townsfolk with tales of his own adventures in far-off lands, where he had encountered talking mice, befriended wise owls, and even outwitted a crafty raccoon in a battle of wits. One evening, as the sun set over Purrington, Jasper gathered the townsfolk in the town square for a special storytelling event. He wove a tale of a legendary treasure hidden deep within the forest, said to grant the heart's deepest desire to whoever found it. The townsfolk were captivated by Jasper's story, and a sense of excitement filled the air. They decided to embark on a treasure hunt of their own, led by their charismatic storyteller. The treasure hunt took the townsfolk on a whimsical journey through Purrington's charming streets and lush gardens. Along the way, they encountered riddles, puzzles, and unexpected surprises that made them laugh and bond even more closely. As the treasure hunt came to an end, the townsfolk found themselves in a clearing in the heart of the forest. There, hidden beneath a pile of colorful leaves, they discovered a sparkling treasure chest. With bated breath, they opened the chest to find not riches or jewels, but a simple message written on a golden scroll. The greatest treasure is the laughter and unity you share. The townsfolk looked around at each other, their hearts filled with gratitude for the laughter and joy that had brought them together. They realized that the true treasure of Purrington was not hidden in a chest, but lived within their hearts. Jasper, the storyteller, smiled with satisfaction, knowing that he had helped Purrington rediscover the value of laughter and unity. The town's legacy as a place of whimsy and camaraderie would continue, with Jasper at the helm, sharing stories that inspired laughter and togetherness. And so, in the town of Purrington, where the memory of Whiskers lived on, a new chapter of laughter and storytelling began, thanks to the charming cat named Jasper. The end, or perhaps, the beginning of Purrington's everlasting tradition of joy and unity.